Najla Awad and her family recently arrived in Misrata from Sudan. She says it was a long and dangerous journey. They spent their life savings paying people traffickers to get here. After the fighting started in Sudan, things became horrible and it was no longer possible to live there. Our neighborhood was a war zone and was being shelled. There was no more work. Getting food or water was a huge problem. We had no choice but to leave. With their savings depleted, Najla says putting food on the table for Ramadan this year is difficult. The UN's migration agency says around 6,500 Sudanese refugees have arrived in Libya since fighting started last April. But Libyan officials say the number is much higher. According to the United Nations, there are more than 700,000 migrants in Libya. While some of them have fled violence, the vast majority, 86%, cited economic reasons for coming to Libya. Sofian from Niger supports his parents, three siblings and wife and son back home. I sent my family what little money I have. They need basic food supplies for Ramadan, but I didn't have much money. Work during Ramadan is very slow. I went to the roundabout today, but there was no work. God willing, it will get better, because I have to send them money for Eid. The El Girara roundabout in Misrata is usually busy with hundreds of migrants looking for work. But during the holy month of Ramadan, things slow down and work is hard to come by. Many migrants find it difficult to feed themselves and provide for their families back home. During the holy month of Ramadan, a time for helping those less fortunate, donation centers are scattered across the city, such as this mosque. We usually feed 250 to 300 people every day. We've been doing this every Ramadan for many years. Some people donate food or they bring money and we buy the food. Libya has long been affected by conflict and political divisions, but migrants still risk coming here. Although challenging and at times dangerous, for many, it's their only hope to provide for their families far away. Malik Trena, Al Jazeera, Misrata. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.